can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backward. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever, because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path and that will make all the difference. Sometimes life's gonna hit you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love and that is as true for work as it is for your lovers. Your work is gonna fill a large part of your life and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everybody's asleep, man. We're just getting home after a long night. It's uh, close to three in the morning right now. You know, the thing is, man, it's always going to be a party. It's always going to be a time to celebrate and a time to join friends and or a day to, I mean, the bars are always open, always open. No matter how old you are, they're always open, you know? What's not always open is the opportunity to, to check the box in life, you know, to achieve your dreams. That, that's not always open. You know, when, when, you, when you say you're gonna do something and then you follow through and you do it, not, not, not at the end when you, you, know, you cross the marathon, you finish it or, or your hands raised. I'm talking about right now the small steps in between the big successes that everyone sees. No one sees this. There's a confidence to it, man. There's, this, there's a bad motherfucker that's right here, you know, that it's getting ahead of the competition. There's an overwhelming sense of fulfillment and pride and satisfaction with that. You don't get that sense of, of confidence by going through society's rhyme to reasons. You know, you do your own thing, you know, especially when everyone else isn't doing it and they call you crazy, whatever else, oh, you're in here, and what the fuck is that guy doing up so late? Well, what's up so late mean? I don't know. It's the moments in life, the decisions you make on a moment-to-moment on a, on a -moment basis that add up to be the guy or not the guy. And then just work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in, you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour, weeks every week. That, that, that all those things improve the odds of success. If, if, if other people are putting in 40 hour work weeks and you're putting in 100 hour work weeks, then even if uh, you're doing the same thing, you know that in, in one year you will achieve what they achieve. You, you will achieve in four months what it takes them a year to achieve. I've looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? And whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row, I know I need to change something. Remembering that I'll be dead soon is the most important tool I've ever encountered to help me make the big choices in life. Because almost everything, all external expectations, all pride, all fear of embarrassment or failure, these things just fall away in the face of death, leaving only what is truly important. Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. Stay hungry. Stay foolish.